Uh, Ashley, you're going to hang around. You're going to comment on these stories because we need that yes. Navy perspective. I would love to comment <laughs> on hands and pockets. Hands and oh, pockets. Yeah. So uh, that's perfect. Uh, from our first story from the Navy Times.com. Uh, oh, look, I even did this. Oh, but that <laughs> shrinks us all up. I don't know why it shrinks us all up. <laughs> See, I'm a one man production and I get criticized. All the time. Uh, under a new policy update, sailors can finally put hands in their pockets. Thank God, right? <laughs> um, the Navy announced a sweeping range of uniform and personal appearance policy updates on Wednesday the 14th, just in time for Valentine's Day. They're like, here's your Valentine's. You can put your hands in your pockets, uh, including putting your hands in your pockets and reinstating the female bucket cover and allowing sailors to place their hands in their pockets. Oh, yeah. So uh, the changes are the largest series of Navy uniform and grooming reform since December 2022. When the service announced the introduction of a new lightweight safety boot and modifications to the maternity service dress blue coat, the policy update rescinds restrictions barring sailors from placing their hands in their pockets. The Navy administration message is that the big, like, no TAM? Is that that's what we had, right? No TAM in the Air Force notice to airmen. Wasn't that the big yeah. message? So, yeah. NAV admin is that what the message is out to the Navy? It said, quote, sailors are authorized to have hands in their pockets when doing so does not compromise safety nor prohibit the proper rendering of honors and courtesies. Uh, the NAV admin also said the service is now permitting all sailors to wear the female combination cover, better known as the bucket cover. Did you ever wear that? Yeah, I hated it. <laughs> oh, you did? But well, they're bringing Old it back, sky. baby. Thank God they brought it back. Uh, <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Female officers and chief petty officers are also authorized to wear the cover with service khaki and summer white uniforms. The Navy mm -hmm. had previously retired the bucket cover in 2018. So I know these guys are going, what is the bucket cover? Right? I, That's I was the like, bucket I can cover. Find it, but. <laughs> oh, Look at that hat, man. Luscious. You hated that hat? It just. <laughs> I think I just hate you. <laughs> I didn't mean to say you, it that way. Like, you say that like it I doesn't look I atrocious. Like like like, like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to say it that way, but um, the, the variety of colors of uniforms always is like, yeah, it, it's always yeah. shocking to me in the Navy because the Air Force is like, boom or boom, that's it. You well, know? not anymore. Now you can wear whatever you want. Yeah. Well, you know what? I take this back to retention and recruiting, and I don't understand how a woman getting to wear this bucket hat or put her hands in the pocket are going to retain him in the military or want him to go, yeah, I'll stay now. I can put my hands in my pocket. Yeah, who's holding their breath and stomping their feet and going, damn it, I'm getting out if I don't get oh. this fucking bucket cover. <laughs> Wait a minute. They, they so changed, they changed so what? I might re-enlist after all. Yeah, done. <laughs> Show me where to sign. Here's right? here's the beautiful thing about the bucket cover. Sailors cannot purchase the bucket cover from Navy Exchange uniform stores and must instead privately obtain one for wear. So you can wear it, but, but we're not going to sell it. Buy it. it. <laughs> <laughs> How? What a, yeah. Yeah. That what are you doing? Sense. There's a lot of bootleg markets out there for bucket <laughs> covers. Hey, we should go to <laughs> we we should go to those auction sites and see if they're auctioning off uh, oh, a yeah. gross. A female bucket cover hats. We could Maybe make I've a fortune, side guys. Now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start getting bucket covers and selling them on the black market. <laughs> selling to the, you don't the even have to go to the books. black market. Wait, Just go to the navy wait, base. How, Hang outside the gate. Our, you have. <laughs> our, at Pete, man, you can't buy the actual like truck driver, bus driver hat for the Air Force. Oh, that trucker hat. Yeah, you yeah. can't. They don't sell it. I don't think so. They're not like on That's display where the hell they easily. Get from. I don't know. There might be a bootleg market for all that ridiculous is the, hats. That is the least looking uniform hat ever. You know, it looks like, you, it looks like you bought it at a Bucky's. Cover. You know, it, it does. It's all the mesh in the back and stuff. It looks terrible. Uh, additionally, the Navy is allowing female soldiers to wear the tiara 
as an optional uniform component when wearing dinner dress blue and white jacket uniforms. Really? Yeah, so Ashley, can you explain this tiara thing? Like, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Do you have any pictures? Of perfect. The <gasps> I've never. No. You will be okay, the belle of the ball. Why would anyone want to wear that? <laughs> well, is that in your like the mess dress? Is it's that with that mess is? dress? Yeah. Formal. It's with formal. Your mess oh, dress, that so. is lovely. So you can get a white jacket uniform and wear that tiara. Oh. Are they trying to stop pregnancy? I think that's what's going on. Here. <laughs> trying to stop pregnancies. The <laughs> well, Navy's version of the BCGs. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a clever female might say, you know, I really don't want to go out on that tour. Let me put my white mess uniform on and the tiara. Mm. And let's see if I can't get out of that tour by maybe. <laughs> Just another you know, there's some O somewhere <laughs> that's rocking that. Oh, oh yeah. There's yeah. some yeah. officer yeah, somewhere that just loves it's it. It's probably some officer's spouse is what's really oh. So Marty, what what actually drove the policy change? Was it recruitment know. retention or they just said it hey. didn't say. It didn't say, but wait, I didn't got to the best part oh. for females in the Navy. Oh. Uh the policy also offers modifications to fitness attire, allowing sailors to wear blacker navy blue leggings with the physical training uniform shorts and fitness suit pants. Hmm. Leggings. Are they government like issue thing, ones? Right. But the, I guess they can't. You can wear it now and not get yelled at, I suppose. Uh, likewise, female sailors may now wear t shirts specifically designed for women, so long as the shirts adhere to the Navy's color, fabric, and neck configuration standards. I, I guess at the undershirt, I suppose. Yeah. Right. Okay. Here you go, <laughs> Ashley. Ashley's like, I don't know. Here, here's the big one. Sailors may also wear false eyelashes or eyelash oh. extensions in uniform. All right, to all you supervisors out there, the eyelashes can be no more than 14 oh, millimeters in length oh, my as goodness. measured from the eyelid to the tip of the eyelash. <laughs> See, yeah. All you're going to do is enable tyrants, man. You're going to have figure that one out. around with a ruler measuring <laughs> this. Yeah. You're going to have guys with their hands in their pockets getting pushed down because they had their hands in their pockets in a non-safe <laughs> configuration. Hmm. Um, this, this is all just, it's, it's rife for abuse. This is false, so unsafe configuration. False eyelash color will match the color of a natural eyelash, and it cannot hinder wear of protective eyewear. Can you imagine Where? having eyelashes like that it. big? Because I've seen <laughs> girls wear that. And you're like, you gotta put goggles on and you're just like window washers. Right? <laughs> on that thing. You know, I'm I'm old school, as you guys know, and I'm thinking what? that oh, everybody ever <laughs> everybody even before me are turning over in their graves going, What does this do for our military? Yeah, well, we're all like it's always like that, right? Like the generation above us is always cranky. They were not upholding <laughs> some sort of tradition. That's I guess true. That they I guess were I just, forced to uphold too. I fell in that. You know? that yeah, I fell in that group right now. Cranky going right? what the hell? Well, then here yeah. you'll you'll Kids love this these because days. as a companion story, they, this they put this story out two days after the Navy story came out. Marine Corps won't consider allowing hands in pockets. That a boy. <laughs> nope. That a baby. Stay strong. So the current iteration of the Marine Corps Uniform Board will not hold a vote on lifting the ban on hands and pockets when it convenes. The Marine Corps has said hands and pockets, quote, detract from an appropriate military presence. The Air Force greenlit hands and pockets in 2021. Oh, yeah. And now this is this is the beautiful part of this quote. Lieutenant General Brian Kelly, Air Force Deputy Chief of Staff for Manpower at the time said, quote, we likewise trust that our airmen can figure out what it takes and means to maintain standards without specifying exact behavior in every situation. Ooh. <laughs> now, we've all worked with airmen. Maybe you haven't, Ashley, but we've all worked with airmen. Would you trust them to make the right decision? No. No, neither no. would I. Yeah, they're good. They got a whole huge hand, man. Got a whole hand. Well, and there was always an out for hands in your pockets. All you had to do is be getting something out. So whenever someone right, came up right. to you and said, yeah, "Why are yeah. your hands in your pockets?" You just pull out your keys or something and they go, yeah, Fuck right. off, Like you know how bad it got with cops. Most cops would seal the seams in their pockets, so when their um, BDU <sighs> pants or their green pants 
were ironed or starched. Yeah, yeah. The pocket didn't bow. It laid flat. So it was stitched shut most of the time for us cops. And, you know, now all that's all that starching stuff. Man. All yeah. that's out the window now. Oh, With the, uh, yeah. uh, what's the OMD or what is that uniform called now? Um, oh, the new one. Because it, it doesn't yeah. have to be ironed or anything like yeah. that. I love it. Um, <laughs> the, the Marine Corps is the only branch in which women can't wear ponytails except during physical training. Male Marines have to keep their hair shorter than other branches. And Marines also can't wear the camouflage uniform out in the civilian world. Now, I remember when I was in the Army um, that it was discouraged. You you drove home. You weren't supposed to go to the store. You weren't supposed to go off base. You go, you go home and change and then go back to the store because you weren't supposed to wear it in civilian but places. you probably could go to the club and get drunk and then go on base. <laughs> sure. And then you know walk what, home. <laughs> you know what's funny is the Marine Corps are the ones that aren't changing their standard and they're the only ones meeting their numbers for recruitment. Nope, Space Force. Yeah, Mar- <laughs> Marine Corps has to recruit that's like gonna, 12, though. That's going to be a war fighting domain. Yeah. <laughs> Space Force holding strong. So, Ashley, you retired or you that. got out uh, in 2013? Yeah. So now that qualifies you to be the old salty one and go, in my time. <laughs> back in my day. Back in my day when we could wear tiaras. <laughs> uh, let me tell you, we weren't putting hands in yeah. pockets. Tiaras were encouraged. <laughs> I don't know. I, it just seems like we got more important things to worry about, especially with the Navy not meeting it. But uh, I, yeah, they, I they found the need to change these things for the Navy. So. Well, you don't even need a high school diploma anymore for the Navy. Uh, right. Or a GED. That's, yeah. Uh, yeah. They're just taking. Uh... So actually, don't feel bad about not learning Arabic. You're good to go. You're, you're way fine. ahead. You're, you're way, way ahead of the people that are signing up now. They're like, <laughs> you're way ahead. <laughs> and they'll, they'll probably take you back if you wait a couple months. They'll do the For same sure. thing. That oh, Air yeah. Force they'll reach does. out. Yeah. Yeah. They they'll could. take you back. Yeah. Okay. I think Navy's having the hardest time of it. I think Navy Air, or Air Force is what? 43. You can yeah. go in or four. Yeah, yeah you right, still right. go in. Yeah. Well, they were taking up to sixty for coming yeah. back on on duty. Oh, for coming back. Yeah. Oh, so there was an age limit for that. Yeah. All you right. could go all the way till sixty. 